What's up guys? Let's talk about the Green Room 136 Metro Manga. Let's go. Since I've had this pack, I've used it for everything. Today we're gonna to do a little photo shoot, a little street photography, a little fun. everyday carry and it suits my needs perfectly what's up guys thanks for watching George Define on this channel we do backpack reviews men's everyday carry and a little bit of hunting and fishing if you're into that kind of thing please consider subscribing and if you like this video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button it helps me out now, let's talk about Green Room 136, and specifically, the Metro Monger. I reached out to Patrick, I sent him an email, you know, cause I'm a big YouTuber out there in the world, and I was like, hey Patrick, go ahead and send me one of your bags so I can review it. And you know what happened? Nothing. <laughs> he never responded to me, which is all good, you know, I'm a small YouTube channel, and I like the bag so much, that I went ahead and ordered it anyway because I wanted to check it out because I wanted it for my own damn EDC, right? I wanted to carry it and see what and see what it was all about. So the bag came in, it was a little bit pricier than what some other YouTubers said it was. I can't remember the figures right now. I think somebody said it was like 85 bucks. It's not 85 bucks. Once I got the bag in, I was thoroughly impressed by the quality of the materials that they used and just the whole build itself. It, it's a very functional pack. It's very simple, but I like it a lot. This is a bag, I've been wearing it basically for the last two weeks. I haven't posted a video on backpacks because I've been rocking this and loving it. Let's get into the specs on this bag. This bag is made of a 1000D Cordura. The, the bag's dimensions are 13 inches in length. It's actually nine inches tall and it's 5.5 inches wide the interior in the bag itself is made out of a 420d ripstop which is very heavy duty it's got a lot of different compartments in it for its size i was really impressed for its size how much stuff i could stick in this bag and we're going to run through this i'm going to do actually in this video i'm going to show you my new edc what i'm carrying every day so you guys can check it out and i'll try to throw up some pictures of stuff in amazon where i got my different stuff so if you see something you like you can buy it i don't have any so uh, affiliate links or anything like that so it, i don't get a kickback from it i'm not trying to sell you anything i'm just trying to show you some great bags and point out any flaws that i see in a bag when i'm reviewing it let's take a look at this bag from the bottom to the top and check out everything that's great about it and a couple of flaws on the bag that I saw. It's only like two, there's only like two. Two flaws I saw on this bag. It may be a little bit more, but I, I can only really remember two, but let's go through it together. So this bag is perfect to wear every day, in and out of the office, in and out of the city. If you wanted to use it for a photography bag, if you into street photography, like I'm just getting into street photography, this is a perfect bag for you. So let's check it out. In the front right here, you got some, this, these aren't Molly size, but they try to, they're like Molly like uh, attachment points here, right here in the front. But you can feed a U-lock through here. If you're using this and you're bike, biking or cycling, you can feed your U-lock through these two slots here in the front and your U-lock should be pretty secure if you want to carry it while you're riding, take it off, lock your bike up. The stitching right here in the front is showing a little bit of uh, some threads. So the quality management, I would like to see um, Green Room 136 tighten up on a little bit, but for the most part, I've been pretty happy with the stitching in this bag. Right here, you got a little bit of Green Room 136 branding, and it's pretty interesting. It says Green Room 
room 136 and it's got like a gorilla or something like that but it looks pretty sick it's original design and i like that so moving up the bag you have one pocket here you got another pocket right here and then you have another pocket in the back so it's three separate sections and green room made sure that they gave you some cushion some extra space in each one of the stack sections so they don't kind of bind up one on you like in a lot of backpacks if you put something in one section like a lot of stuff in one section then the other section kind of gets kind of cramped not in this bag so they really thought out the design so you can maximize all of the space inside of this bag so moving up the top you got this grab handle it's not padded but it's a good enough grab handle where you can definitely get a good purchase on the bag i would have liked to seen it kind of padded and then brought down a little bit it's kind of it's kind of high on the bag itself if you can see that it's kind of it sticks up a lot so i would have liked to seen it more uh flush with the top of the bag and i think that that would have done a lot for the design let's move around to the side of the bag again you got some some more spaces like some molly attachment points where you can stick some some items and i'll show you kind of how i set the bag up for my own personal use a little bit later i don't want to forget to mention that all of the zippers on this bag are ykk so they're, they're they're good size zippers and i just threw in they didn't come like that they, they didn't come with the paracord attached like that i just did that after i got the bag because i like i said i've been wearing this bag for the last two weeks and i wanted to kind of customize it to the way i like to wear my backpacks let's move around to the back let's talk about this back panel this is an area where i can see green room 136 actually improving some they could do a little bit more on this back panel. This is a small bag. Like I said, it's only 13 by nine. This gets a little warm. It's starting to get, it's starting to get warm out there. We're heading into those summer months and I can feel like the heat on my back um, kind of hold in this fabric. It's like a nylon mesh, which is pretty decent on most backpacks and it should be pretty decent on this bag especially because it's smaller than a regular backpack it still retains some heat and like you got i just want to make you guys aware of that when you buy this bag down here at the bottom green room 136 throws in like some cinch straps so you can actually make the the bag smaller if you grab those cinch straps and pull them down it will kind of compress the bag down so it makes it even smaller this is already kind of a small size and you can also use these compression straps to run a small tripod like a joby pod like a, a small little joby gorilla pod you want to carry with you for the day maybe you're vlogging or something like that you can definitely stick it in there for a larger tripod i probably wouldn't i probably wouldn't carry it because this is only 13 inches in length so you would have a lot of overhang on either side so just measure out your tripod and see if it's going to be a good carry option for you now let's talk about this shoulder strap you get one sling style shoulder strap on this bag and it's a lot of talk been that's been said on youtube about this strap but i gotta tell you from using it for the last two weeks it's not as bad as you think there is some kind of fiddliness if that's a word in the and the shoulder strap itself because it's got two sections where you can lock it off overall i've been really happy with the way that this buckle works i kind of set it lock it in and just throw it over my head and um and then rock it for the whole day one thing about this shoulder strap that i didn't like was that it has this strap keeper for keeping this from flopping around like this is your extra portion of the shoulder strap where you can make your adjustment and what you're supposed to do is feed it into this little keeper right here which is not elastic and that's one of my minor gripes is that if i wish they would have made these strap keepers on the shoulder strap elastic and also on the bottom of the uh compression straps on the bottom if they would have made those strap keepers elastic i think that, that would have been a way better design and it would have held in place a lot better the two front compartments on this bag have storm flaps kind of to keep the rain off of anything that you have inside and a thousand d cordura does an excellent job of kind of shedding water from every bag that i've had with this kind of material but it's not waterproof by by any means because the weave is so tight it makes the water kind of beat up on the bag so that's kind of it for the outside of the bag let's go inside 
Let's go check this front compartment out. You got two large slip pockets right here in the front. And then you got two larger pinhole slots in the front as well. So definitely worked out for my EDC system. They're probably like four or five inches deep, the larger slots. And then you have a lot of room up front where you can stick some items. If you kind of look at it, you can see that the front of the bag, this pocket, is kind of gusseted. And you have a lot of space right here in the front where you can stick some additional items. All right, let's move to the second section of the bag itself. Again, another storm flap right there. And then inside of this section, you have two slip pockets right here in the front. Let me flip it around so you guys can see. You got two slip pockets right here in the front, which are rather large. I could definitely see you putting like a computer charger in here or, you know, anything that's kind of bulky and big that you want, you know, access to is it will definitely hold it in place. Then in the back of here, you have like a document sleeve right here where I, I do slip in some documents in my way I carry my EDC system. I wish, I wish that this bag was like one or two inches bigger or even maybe like a half an inch bigger on either side. So maybe 13.5 by 9.5. That would have made it able to carry a full size sheet of paper in this bag. Because a lot of times if I'm carrying stuff and I'm carrying it into the city, I'm going to work or something like that. I want to stick a piece of paper in this bag and it's just a little, it's a hair too small. You can fret about carrying paper or whatever. I, if worse comes to worse, I'll fold the paper in half and stick it in my bag. But it would have been lovely if you could have stuck a whole like a uh, sheet of paper in here. Like if I have a report or something I need to bring home from work, I can stick it in this bag and keep it moving. But with the way it is right now, you can't do that. All right, let's go to the last section of the bag itself. And in this section is where you wanna stick your tablet. And a 10 inch tablet will fit in this section. I usually have Android products. So I slip my 10 inch tablet right here in the back. I believe this will fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro, but I have no Mac products in my house. That when you actually order this bag from Green Room 136, you have the option of ordering the kit pouch as well. So I went ahead and ordered the kit pouch, which fits in the bag perfectly. And what this kit pouch is for is so you can put your DSLR camera in it. So very handy if you wanna go into the city, like I said, and you wanna take pictures or you wanna go into the woods, wherever you take pictures, this can you can carry your camera with you. And it's very comfortable it's wearing it all day and putting your DSLR in there. So my camera of choice is the Canon SL2. And I usually record video on my Canon Ultrasonic. This is the 17 by 55. This is a pretty large lens and it's pretty heavy. So this fits in this kit pouch connected to the SL2 facing downward and I have no problem. I could just pull it out and take my picture and stick it back in the bag. It's very convenient. But let's walk through the kit pouch. So this is made out of that 420D ripstop material. Again, all of the zippers on this little kit pouch are YKK. You get this little green room 136 tab. It's got handles on both sides. I don't know why you would need handles on both sides of a little kit, kit pouch like that. Maybe if you were grabbing it, you would just kind of wanted to grab it from one side or the other, but I, that, I don't think you're gonna put anything in it that's so heavy you're like, ah, I, I gotta lift this with both hands. All right, so let's check out this thing. On the front, you got a little slip pocket where you can slip some items. Usually I'll just slip, slip in like some cleaning cloths for my lenses or something like that in the front. You have slip pouch, slip pockets on the side, just small slip pockets where you can slip in and you, you know, your camera accessories. I don't know what you guys carry, but if it's small, it can definitely fit on the side pocket. Then in the back, you have a little zippered pocket. Again, YKK zippers, really nice. And it's pretty deep, probably like three or four inches deep where you can stick some more items. And the inside, let's zip off the top. Kind of pops open like that. And inside, it's, it's like a corduroy lined. 
and you get one divider inside of there. So that kind of comes with the kit pouch. You get this little corduroy divider and you can set it up any way you want, but it's Velcro uh, in the inside or hook and loop, whatever you want to call it in the inside there. So you can set the little divider up if you want to carry a specific way. I just kind of stuck mine like three quarters of the way on one side and then I stick my camera down on the smaller side and then all my extra accessories on the other side of this kit pouch. So something like that is kind of what I would carry um, my camera in that, that kind of division. So I would stick my camera on this side, the tighter side and put all my accessories on the other side. So I could throw my microphone or any other camera accessories, UV lenses, whatever you carry to keep your camera clean and get the best quality image. You could throw it on the other side and this is perfect. So let's, let's close this up and let's throw it into the uh, Metro Munger and see how it looks. Kind of kind of goes in there like this. Again, this is the small size kit pouch. They actually have a medium size kit pouch, which will take up the, the, the whole space inside of the Metro Munger. But I didn't want that. I wanted to have a little space at the top right there so I could stick maybe my water bottle or my headphones or something like that for the day. Green Room 136. I really like this bag. I mean, we could talk about who this bag is for. This, this bag can be for anybody. If you're comfortable carrying, this is a man bag. You know, this is, this is the quintessential. When your wife asks you or says something about your man bag, I mean, this is what it is. This is where I'm at in my life right now is I'm carrying a man bag and I'm okay with it. I'm, I'm man enough to say I can carry a man bag and I'm okay with it because it carries everything I need for the day. You know, I kind of flip it around, get inside my bag, get whatever I need and then flip it back. Perfect. Check it out up on Green Room 136's website. Again, I'm not associated with them at all. I get no kickback from Green Room 136. I just think it's an awesome bag. Um, when I ordered it, ordered it, I didn't really know what to expect. But now that I got it in my hand, I'm very happy with the quality of the materials. Got those two minor gripes with the actual size of this thing. I wish you, I wish, I wish, I wish it was like a half an inch bigger on each side. And then uh, also the strap. Let's take all my EDC stuff and what I carry every day, set the camera, flip the camera around, we'll stiff stuff this bag out. Let's do that. All right, guys, I got all my stuff, all my junk that I usually carry, and they've got the Green Room 136 Metro Manga right here. So let's go ahead and start loading this thing up. So right here, this is my little organizer pouch that I usually carry on a daily basis. Let's check it out real quick. You can buy this on Amazon. You can buy this on eBay. It's super cheap. So I actually got in here USB-C, uh, regular USB, some Samsung headphones that came with my, I don't know what phone, and a lightning connection cable, two AAA batteries, uh, anchor candy bar charger and some other things in here that's kind of what I carry uh, for my electronics charging we'll stick that right here in the back of this section with that uh, corduroy fabric we'll throw that in there and zip it up next right here is some checks, I never really have to write checks, but I carry some checks just in case. We'll slip those in the back. Also, I carry uh, a map of the District of Columbia. It's like one of those sightseeing maps. Get them for free if you work in a city. I might have, you know, cell phone service goes down and I got, I got two maps. This is a Maryland map. It's an old one, 2009 to 2010. Better than nothing, the roads haven't changed that much stick that in there i got a word notebook right here word notebook little little notebook we'll stick that in the front right here these little sections in the front compartment are just large enough 
to stick a word notebook in perfectly so the next thing we'll go to is my maxpedition slim wallet i carry this because i carry all my business cards in there and also my ids for work that can go in the same pocket some clorox wipes definitely need those um, to clean up any nasty things that you might touch or you just want to wipe something down inside this second pocket you got those two pockets right there i'll stick my wipes in there i also will stick my medical pouch in the same pocket kind of see how that looks in there work phone i lied earlier i said i don't have any apple products so this is my work phone so it's not really mine it's the jobs so but i'll stick that in there i rarely use this phone only on only when i'm at work so i'll just stick that in there we gotta have some music these are my headphones in this case these are the sony Heron 2s if you don't know guys please check them out noise canceling these are probably some of the best headphones i've owned and i've owned a lot of different pairs of headphones i was in the audio technica wireless headphones like the m50s these are much better um, sony's blows those out of the water and they just go in this little case and i'll stick these in the main section never know if it's going to rain in the city so i'll stick my umbrella in there sunglasses might need to throw those on those can go in the main section right there we got these two pin holder sections right here in the front so gotta have g2 pilot pins these are g2 pilot pins this is a point this is the 10 and this is the 7 so you got to pay attention to the thicknesses of the ink guys pay attention all right so those g2 pilot pins regular sharpie highlighter goes right beside them in there and then i got two kinds of sharpie markers i got the super fat one and the thin one those go right there boom all right two good good size pin holders and depending if i'm going into a secure building or not i'll carry these two items this is the leatherman juice and this is a Kershaw knife. I forgot which one it is, but it's slick. I like it. Forgot the name. Super light. And I'll stick this on, on the other slip pocket. This Kershaw knife has uh, a little pocket clip. And I use that pocket clip to kind of clip it to the po top of that second slip pocket. The juice doesn't have a pocket clip, so I'll just stick that down in there. Stream light, micro light here. You can see that light going off. And I just attach my little lanyard to it. Stick that in the same pocket as well. Plenty of space for it. Up here at the top of the bag, you do have a key keeper. They don't give you an actual key ring though. So for my office keys and my compass and my whistle, my nail clippers, and this is the Nightcore tube. Awesome little light. Actually has a couple different modes. Um, Coleman, Coleman uh, thermometer slash compass. Little rape whistle. And ho extra house key and office keys. Clip them right there. Boom. S stick them down in there. For my, you know, stuff that I don't, I want to pull out and I don't want it to get lost. I got these little CLC pouches. I got these off of Amazon, super cheap. I think I paid like five bucks for three of these. This one was the only one that I really used. Um, in here, I keep aspirin, Nivea hand cream, gotta have it. Some spearmint gum to freshen the breath. So all of those little, little things that would usually run all over your bag, I stick them in this one and stick it in the front boom and all of that zips up into that front pocket on the side this is a load bearing carabiner uh not sure the brand but it is load bearing i'll stick that on the side of the bag right there clip it in screw gate never know what you might need and then for the second to last item this is a tactical pen don't write with it at all 
I just use it for emergencies. And you guys know what type of emergencies you might run into. So be ready, have your little something that you might need to protect yourself. And then I wanted to show you that I don't usually carry this. This is a Samsung 10 inch tablet, but it will fit in the back. Even with my electronic organizer, this will fit in the back of this little corduroy section, no problem. Stick it in there and zip it up. EDC system, ready to go. Can't complain about it, like it a lot. Green Room 136, come holler at me, man. Send me some more stuff. I would love to do review it on my channel. I wouldn't recommend the bag if I really didn't like it. I got those two complaints, like I said. Need some elastic on the strap keepers here and make the bag a half inch bigger and this would be pretty much a perfect bag. I'm not so much worried about this buckle. I can work that out. It's got enough, it's got enough adjustment where I can figure it out to my liking. The color is awesome. I even saw that they, they have like a camo version of this on their website. It's like one of their custom colors. I think it's not a thousand D, it's like a, it's a lower Cordura. So I'm glad I stuck with the thousand D Cordura because I wanted this bag to last a long time. So I'm happy with it guys. Check it out, Green Room 136. Not sponsored by them, check it out. Keep on watching George Define. Got more stuff coming up, some more backpacks, some more everyday carry, and a couple little tricks and stuff that I'm gonna do for this channel. I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll do some fishing. Maybe we'll do some, nah, it's too early for hunting. But I'll see you guys. Peace. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, so you never miss out on any of my adventures or reviews. See you next time. Peace.